entry points for illegals entering the U.S. are changing, and now migrant encounters in Texas are being outpaced by Arizona and California so far this year. This is according to new federal data, and this is prompting discussions now about whether Texas Governor Greg Abbott's border enforcement program, Operation Lone Star, is effective. News Nation Stephanie Haynes is live in Dallas. So, Stephanie, we know this program is not cheap. Is it working? Kelly, good morning. It's worth taking a look at because since 2019, Texas has really led the way in the number of migrant encounters compared to the other states that are along the Texas, uh, along the Mexico border there, according to the Texas Tribune. And part of that could just be that, you know, Texas has the biggest border with Mexico compared to the other states. But let's take a look at some of this data from Customs and Border Protection. It's showing that the San Diego and Tucson sectors are leading the way, at least for the first three calendar months of 2024. And where we've seen the biggest drop off is the Del Rio sector in Texas. That's one of the five sectors of the border that are in Texas. In December, data shows that there was more than 71,000 migrant encounters in the Del Rio sector alone. And just take a look at the data now. Now, the Del Rio sector is where Eagle Pass is. We all know it. That's where the buoy barrier is, where Governor Greg Abbott is building a base camp for thousands of Texas National Guard. Texas reportedly allocating $11 billion to this program program Operation Lone Star. And since it started in 2021, the governor's office says it has led to more than half a million illegal immigrant apprehensions. It has bust more than 100,000 migrants to so-called sanctuary cities. But people who study the border say it's too early to tell if there is a direct correlation on the numbers in this program. Smugglers find better ways to get people across the border without them noticing that. That that is a that is a a possibility, right? Or less people are trying to make it to the United States because of many factors. Operation Lone Star is facing challenges. The feds are suing over that buoy barrier. They're also suing the state for this controversial immigration law that would allow state police to arrest people suspected of crossing the border illegally. Both of those are tied up right now in appellate courts. And then immigration advocacy groups criticize Operation Lone Star in part just because they believe that this program could lead to racial profiling. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.